Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm gonna start the vlog today with some happy mail that I received. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, but please, I, I don't want anybody to feel obligated. I just wanna share with you and I appreciate it and I want you to know I appreciate it. Um, and for the coffee cup today, I brought out my Queen of England because, you know, I love her, right? If you don't know, I'm kind of obsessed with the Queen. I got this cup when I was in London a few years ago, and I have a package from the UK. So I thought, well, I got to bring out my Queen cup. Typically, I drink tea in her, but today I'm having coffee. So let's get to it. Oh, by the way, this behind me is from the company called La Forest. It is a um, photo backdrop. They sent me three or four of them, three, four, I'm not sure. This is one of them, I'm just hanging it here for now. I'll get into more detail probably later, but you can personalize them, I thought I would just tell you. Okay, I got a card from Erica with some tea. I like tea. I love tea actually. Oh, okay, let's get it open. And it says Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. Oh, I think that's me. That's definitely me when I had long hair. <gasps> Look at the tea. Guys, I can't wait. I love tea. Green tea and orange spice. Oh, ginger peach. Never had that before. I love the salted caramel, cinnamon, vanilla. Oh, guys, I love tea. I like hot beverages. Is that weird? I don't think so. Erica, thank you so very much. And I cannot wait. I got to, oh, and there's glitter because I like glitter too. <laughs> I do the same thing to my family. Uh, I need to figure out a place to hang all my cards downstairs. So for now, I'll put them back in their envelope. And. I got a card. This one is from Monroe, Michigan. Oh, look at Santa. I love it. And this is from Nancy. She has four cats. I think we all have cats, or at least we all should have cats. Thank you. I will read this. I don't want to, I'm not going to share personal messages, but thank you. I have something I can read here in a minute. And... I did open them. I'll show you my letter opener. Oh, I love that one. Look at that card. That is so pretty. I love Christmas cards. I need to find something to do with them. Oh, thank you, Amy. And I hope you have a fantastic holiday season too. We all deserve a good holiday season. Now, oops. I think I need to make a display in my living room. What do you think? Like a tree wall or something and I can hang up the cards. Okay. We're going to go, actually, this one first. Say, second one. This one, oh, I'm not trying to show people's addresses, is from Kim. And I, fit, I thought I knew what was coming my way, but this is way heavier, Kim, than what you were sending me. And I hope you guys don't mind that I'm sharing. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, it's Keto Chow. It is their drinks. I have to read up on this. Complete keto. Oh, it's like a protein shake. Girl, you sent me a lot. Look at all these shakes. Oh, pumpkin spice caramel. Holy moly. Mocha. And you know, I do love a protein shake or a keto shake from the go because I'm a busy girl. Kim, you sent a lot. Oh, there's a spice base. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to read up on all of these. And what is this? I don't have this book. Thank you. Somebody I was watching was talking about all these fantastic recipes. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, you guys. And I can't even show you all of these. Oh, I'm excited to try each and every one. And I'm going to make some taco something. I'll read. Let me put these away. Oh, you are so kind. 
And I hope you guys know I love you as much. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you as well. Oh, Irish cream. That's a personal favorite. I wonder if I can mix a little something something in with it for the holidays. What do you think? I mean, I don't know that answer. I know I can't have real Irish cream. That's full of sugar. But maybe I can, you know, find a little alternative. This package is brought to us from the UK. And I am, I'm beyond tickled. And I, I, I just can't, I can't put into words. I get overwhelmed and emotional when I start thinking of how much, it, you know, you guys bring to my life. And it just makes me happy. And I hope we don't mind that I'm sharing. I need to read this, but her name is Sarah, and we already love her by her name, but she also uses a happy planner. And I only know that because of this paper. I just wanted to say that. But I will read that note. But that's private. You know. Private. Do I get to open it before Christmas? Because you know I'm going to, right? Oh, there's a gnome. Oh, I love it. It's acrylic, isn't, oh, and I can hang it. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. <gasps> There's two. There's two. I'm gonna hang them on my tree. They're Christmas ornaments. And if they're not, they're going to be Christmas ornaments. I love gnomes. I know some folks don't, and I have to figure out if there's a, some kind of backstory on gnomes that I don't know about. I just think they're cute. I'm opening. I'm opening. <gasps> oh. Christmas wishes. Oh. That is going to sit on my desk. Oh. Boys, look what we got. Because it says it's to Alex and Wellington, too. Oh. Guys, and it, it sits up. So I can sit it right here on my desk. You won't see it, but I know it's here. I might be a little gnome obsessed. And then we have a package. And I love this wrapping paper. I want to, I want to be in the, be, oh, oh, I want to be in Europe somewhere for the holiday. Oh, what is this? Timaru Zero Sugar Candy. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Zero added sugar. <gasps> Do you think I could save it for Christmas Eve to read it with my new book? I don't know, we're gonna try. Oh, and the boys. Thank you. They love, oh, <laughs> they got presents. Pre and a little toy. Oh, thank you. They're gonna love this and treats. This is how we get to their heart. We feed them. I know. Oh, Alex, I'm not going to give it to you yet, but he will love that. Oh, some sugar-free Werther's. I like these. Thank you. Sugar-free candy is my thing. No added sugar milk chocolate. I'm going to go over to England or something because y'all got some good looking stuff. Oh, I appreciate that wholeheartedly. It's so hard here for me to find decent sugar-free candy. It says the festive one with the gnome. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Stop it, you stop it right now. I am going to cry. It's a happy planner. It's a happy planner. I am going to cry. But I have to show you. With a black cat. I have not seen this over here. And I need a new notebook for next year. Yeah, I sure did just cut this thing apart, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a heathen, apparently, but. Oh, I love it. And a, and a page marker. Oh, and look at these stickers. Do you make these stickers? Because if you do, I need to order. Oh. 
your coffee cups. Guys. Aww. This is so awesome. Do you have, it's a website. I think this is washi. Yes. Gnome washi tape. Is this your company? Festive one. Inside your box, you'll find your choice of notebooks. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, stickers. If this is your company, I need you to tell me because I want to link to it. Oh, I'm going to link to it anyway. And then look. A notebook. I think this is, you make little envelopes. They're little stencils. You can't see it because it's dark, but there's little plastic stencils in here. Oh my gosh. Now I am gonna cry. It's gonna have, oh, little journal stencils, gnomes, letters. Oh, this is so amazing. Wellington, do you want to say hi? Thank you so much. I appreciate this wholeheartedly. And so will my boys. They're going to love their treats. He smells his toy already. Did you say hi? Yeah? Did you say hi? We had a rough morning. He's not feeling well today. He has asthma. Did I tell you that? He has asthma, so he gets flummy sometimes. And he he pulled the exorcist on me. Don't cut out. Thank you so much. I appreciate this wholeheartedly. And... Uh, I'm just going to have an emotional moment with my cup of coffee. But I really appreciate it. All of you, Kim, thank you so much. And we will get on to our day. I'll talk with you soon. Bye. Hey, guys. We are in my craft space right now. And what we are going to do is oil up these two cutting boards I made uh, with my new tool. So right now I'll show you what I'm using, but I'm just getting the lid off. I got it at Home Depot, and I know you can get this on Amazon. It's good for all cutting boards. It's just mineral oil, food grade. Um, this is Howard brand. Um, I made this for my coworker for my party this weekend, just a name. And this is the one I made for myself. So let's do the this one first. And I'm getting them ready now because they take about 24 hours to absorb the oil. And you can do this to new old cutting boards. You just wanna clean it first if you're gonna do this to an older one. I also bought at Ikea some wooden spoons. There's a flat handle and I think I can engrave on that. And then they were out of most of their cutting boards but I did get two of these like bar size. They could probably be done as well. But for now, I just needed this one for this weekend coming up. Sorry for the weird lighting in here. It's in the middle of the day, but, and I'm just using a microfiber cloth. And pretty much you can't put too much oil on these. It's raw wood, it's just gonna soak it up. Now this one that I'm currently working on is bamboo. And because Ikea was out of most of the cutting boards, I ended up getting this at Target. But I'm really happy with it, and it was only um, $6 for the plain cutting board. Now this one, because it's bamboo, or because it's already been oiled, it it's doing pretty good. I just want to make sure I oil up the burn here so that it looks pretty, right? So we're going to do that again. And this bamboo took really well to the laser. I don't know if you'll be able to see it a little better. But there's a gloss on it. Now I'm just going to leave it here and let it sit overnight. And then this one is the one I tested. And this was mine. Honestly, I don't remember what the actual wood is. I knew there was some bamboo in it. But this one is definitely super dry. Uh, because it's sucking down the water or the oil before I really even get a chance to 
move it around too much. The one thing I wish I would have done on this one is just went over it one more time with the laser, but it was a practice for me, so I'm not too concerned. And uh, this is all you do. Now, this one here that I'm using for a charcuterie board, most likely I will do several coats. Um, if you can see here, which I don't know if you will, it's just sucking up the oil, which just means it's dry. So oiling it is what needs to happen to make it last longer. And I think this might be it for my laser gifts with the cutter, but we'll see. So what I will do, like I said, is I will just let this soak up the oil and then tomorrow I will take another look at it and see if it needs a secondary coat. I don't think this bamboo one will. It's looking pretty good. But that's how different types of woods look. But this one, I mean, the oil just brought it to life. My charcuterie board with my name on it. And then this is my coworkers. All right. Well, that was good. I'm glad I was able to get that done today. And then once this is dry, I will obviously clean my table off, which it's a wood table. So a little bit of oil is not going to hurt it either. But I will let these soak up overnight. Like I said, I will probably do a secondary or even a third dose of oil on this one because it's very dry. This one is not. So that is it. Um, what else do we have to do today? I need to go to the Dollar Tree real quick. I need to video a Dollar Tree haul. I still need to make my short miss video for today, which I can do that here in a little bit. I'm wondering if this mineral oil is good for my hands too. I don't see why not if it's food safe. Maybe I'll just let it soak in. I'll keep this rag handy until these are complete. Yeah, fun stuff, guys, fun stuff. All right, let's get something done today. Okay, guys, I finished my cutting board and they're dry, drying, absorbing, seasoning. I don't know what they're doing, but it's happening. So I was getting ready to film a video, but decided I needed to run to the Dollar Tree. Surprise. But for a very specific reason, uh, my newest obsession is Burt's Bees and the peppermint. I know. I love peppermint chips, chapstick. Anyway, so we just got noticed. So, my, so, so, so. I work a part-time job, many of you know, at the Ohio State University. And part of, sorry, I'm pulling out onto the road. Part of what we do around the holidays is we used to raise money for a family. We would adopt a family through Franklin County. Well, this year they changed it up and we are dealing with Franklin County uh, Child Family Services, which, you know, helps a lot of different people. Um, children of all ages, teenagers and all of that. And for me, I feel like the teenagers often get left out or the tweens even, you know, your 10, 12, 13 year olds because oh, my glasses, you guys are a mess. Um, because it's just easier, I feel like, to buy for littles, for the little toddlers, which is fantastic, please don't get me wrong. But I like to get things for the older kids as well and obviously I'm on a budget like everybody else I hope that's better that's better so a lot of the things that I collect throughout the year at the Dollar Tree like the name brand stuff I put aside for this time of year or like last year I went through all of my makeup and toiletries that I couponed for and I donated to a local high school they have um my sister-in-law's high school they have a closet for students and they don't have to ask they can just go in and get what they need deodorant personal care things like that no questions asked so but I haven't been couponing because of the pandemic and it's a lot of work and so I took you know some time off which is fine 
Anywho, long story short, I am, so today was the day or this weekend I was going through all of my Christmas gifts and all my boxes of Dollar Tree stuff that haven't already been donated out and was going through to find some things to take to work on Wednesday. I have until the 21st, but I work next Wednesday. I was like, what day do I work? I work on Wednesday. So um, I wanna take in some items that I have to donate already. And I came across um, most recent purchases, a lot of heart candy makeup, the Elf, the NYX. I mean, that's all name brand stuff and I think anybody would appreciate it. So I collected that. I had a bunch of um, this, I got a couple, not a bunch, a couple of the Zach mugs with Elsa and Anna on it. And when you put hot liquid in it, it turns colors. And I think that's a lot of fun and stuff like that. But anyway, so I was reading through the list of some things that they need. And obviously I'm gonna go shopping as well. But, long story forever long, as Kim says on the wads, um, I want to go see if my Dollar Tree has any more children's books. That was one of the things that they asked for were books. And I was like, you know, I'll go to the bookstore and buy books. But if I can go to the Dollar Tree, think how many books I could get for the same amount. So I went to one this morning and I found, which I think is for like te young tweens, um, the Ever After, the Disney books. So I grabbed, they had three and I grabbed three of those. And they also asked for um, inclusive items, um, you know, that represent all the children in my county. So instead of getting all the white Barbies, maybe get a white Barbie and a black Barbie or a Spanish Barbie, whatever. If they want inclusive, I can do inclusive. I do inclusive. So I grabbed a couple coloring books. They wanted coloring books. I got colored pencils already. Um, they wanted, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, scarves, but no hats and gloves, which was just weird, but okay. But these were just the most asked for items typical you know kid stuff so I grabbed a couple Disney I think I got a Disney Moana puzzle I got a coloring book I said the I got some Crayola color pencils I got like a 24 pack because they did ask for color pencils and um all kinds of stuff so I'm headed to the other Dollar Tree that's a little better in hopes that they got some new books in my my stores have been so dry on the books and I love to read, so I was hoping to find some books for me, but also for children. I did buy a bunch of books the other day, and I gave them to um, my little cousin's son, which is perfectly fine. He'll enjoy them, but let's see if they, I know my hair's a mess, guys, if they have any more. It's kind of what I'm doing, and then I'm going to go home and film in the same shirt my tomorrow's Dollar Tree haul. Uh, because that needs to get filmed so that I can also there's some stuff in there that I'm donating oh I bought the Hot Wheels tracks I bought enough pieces to make a loop-de-loop -loop and um, yeah I thought that would be fun and the hot actually it was a matchbox car whatever nobody cares so I'll put that in there as a set stuff like that and then I will of course I will go to the store and buy new items because you know that this is the season and for a child to even a teenager to go without at the holidays or any time of the year is just heartbreaking to me so all that to say hey guys I'm going to the Dollar Tree anybody shocked I wouldn't be either and I am two days behind on my coffee advent. Um, I mean, I'm not behind. I opened them. I just haven't drank them yet. Because yesterday and today, I went to Dunkin'. Got my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And then on my way home, I went shopping with my friend this morning. We went to Ikea looking for cutting boards. And I didn't really find much there. Um, after the holidays, I'll get them in stock. And then we went to Target, which I found some fun stuff there. And yeah, so I want to do all this sorting today so that I can determine what I'm taking to the work on 
Wednesday and I'll get a bag at the store that I can just leave everything in. And then um, kind of make a list of what I would like to go out and purchase. But they did ask for coloring books, so I want to look for more, um, more coloring books for the little peoples, because they need coloring books too. And I actually found a coloring book for me. <laughs> I do adult coloring books, but typically what I will do, like Wednesday when I'm working, it's a late night game, and I probably will end up at a, well maybe, who knows where I'll end up, but I might end up at a desk. And if that's the case, then I have, um, I got a cat adult coloring book, and I have some color pencils I'll bring and I can just kind of sit there and low-key like pretend like I'm taking notes or something. I don't know. I don't know. Should be busy though. The Buckeyes beat Duke. If you know anything about basketball, that was a huge game the other day. I don't really follow college basketball as much as I do college football, but I do work the games. Like I'm working the game Wednesday. And I also work women's basketball and men's ice hockey. No women's ice hockey. I do not know what is on my glasses. It's almost time to get a new pair too. I go every year in February to get my eyes checked and glasses and I can tell it's time. I didn't really have much of a change in my prescription last year but I'm sure there's a change this year. Oh, and I decorated my front porch. I kept forgetting that I hadn't switched out a fall from my front porch. So I did that real quick. I mean, it's not a lot of stuff out there. I did it really fast, but I'll show you when it's dark and the lights are on and you can see my Christmas tree maybe. I'll see if I'm not sure if it'll show up good on camera, but I will show you. I can't, well, I will show you my living room, but it is a complete and utter disaster zone right now because I have, excuse me, literally, all the gifts of my house in my living room trying to sort because we are going away for Christmas and by that I mean my niece and I rented a cabin um, and our family will come to us I think I've mentioned that before as well but I need to bag up gifts basically per family or when they'll be open so that it's not a mess or a disaster or I forget to give somebody gifts. So I took Ikea bags and I put all Sarah's stuff in one and two, one or two Ikea bags and then stuff for Christmas Day for her mom, stepdad and brother who will be coming Christmas Day. I put all that stuff together and then for my brother, her dad and stepmom, so my brother and sister-in-law and my other brother, all of that stuff will go into a separate bag so I can just pull those, you know, pull them out when it's time. So the sooner I can get all that situated, the sooner I can then pack up all of my planner stuff. I'm so excited to get my planner started for next year. Um, I'm sure you all know by now I use a happy planner and I just got some fantastic stickers and planner stuff. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna pack up a bunch of planner stuff and take to the cabin and we're going to um, work on that. I'm gonna bring a book, planner, a book, some knitting and maybe a cross stitch. We'll see about the cross stitch. I have, I've been so busy lately, I haven't done much cross stitching and that's okay. The two things I'm working on are both very large and then I found out so I'm going to a retreat in March called Stitch North in Canada it's in on Ontario Toronto and I just assumed in my mind that there would be outlets and I would bring my traveling magnifying glass and lamp but I don't think there's going to be outlets so I need to start something that is on um, like an Ada or a larger fabric with the bigger holes because I do have an around the, the neck magnifying glass that's lighted. It's the only issue that I have with that is because of my vision and I'm farsighted, it's hard for me to 
get it to the distance that I need. So, not a big deal. I'll just start a project on something on a piece of like large Ada cloth or something that has bigger holes that I don't need extra light and or um, magnification to do. And what I could do is start on my Christmas peddler. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but every year there's a different pattern for a different Santa this company makes. I don't have them handy to show you, but um, what I could do is start um, working on my Santas, because I can do that on Ada, and they can be on a larger Ada. It's not a big deal. I just need to buy it, and I need to get over. I need to buy it and dye it, because I want it like coffee dyed or something. That's big enough, and I can work on that in a little loop probably what I will do and then bring more intricate stuff if I'm gonna be in my room stitching I will bring my I mean I will of course bring everything with me and see what the scenario is when we get there but yes all right I guess I should stop babbling now it's been 13 minutes of me just talking nobody wants to see that all right I'll go to the Dollar Tree and then show you my front porch Okay, here we go. Thought I would give you a look into my front room. Oh, I love it. There's my tree. Usually there's a couple kitties in that window. Oh, and here's my porch. I don't know how good of a view I'm gonna be able to give you. Oh, but I went with the snowman wreath. My believe sign with a little pear of Santa boots with some greenery in them. I think I made those a couple years ago. And I'm going with all kinds of color over here. I need to do something in that spot. Not quite finished yet. And then I have my letters to Santa, which I think I'm going to paint black. Oh, there's a kitty. Alex. Hi, buddy. Where's your brother? <laughs> All right, I better go feed them dinner and look at the mess. That's what you got to see is the mess in there. Those are Dollar Tree bags. And that's a kitty. Hi. Hi. All right, Guys, we got to at my house. Can you please help me? Can somebody come help me clean? This is my Dollar Tree haul. Here's another Dollar Tree haul. Bleach, random, part of a haul. I fire. Let's just ignore the rest of my house and we'll just look at the fireplace. How about that? Because that's what makes me happy. Presents and gifts and things that need to be put away. Oh, my tree makes me happy. That room's not too bad, but I don't like my table cluttery and well, yeah, it's cluttery. What are we going to do? All right, I'm going to wrap up this vlog right now because I have to do some more recording. And then I have to get ready for bed. But again, let's just look at that. I'll leave you with a happy thought. The house will eventually be clean. Oh, I have to hide this bear from the dog when he comes, she comes. It doesn't really go on my, goes in the cat bed, which is over there. No, there's three cat beds over here, basically. The bed in the window that they like to look out, the actual cat bed and my basket of blankets. And my couch. Oh, and that's the quilt I made last year. I thought about hanging it up there, but that just seemed like a lot of work. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it's time. Have a great one. Bye.